Tycoon games are all about building a business and making money, so that's what we have today. Trading, bartering, and capitalism. Do you think you have what it takes to buy the world in these business simulation games? Let's find out and welcome to what 2024 has on the shelves. The first tycoon game we've got is Potion Tycoon. Here's a management simulator with a witchy twist. Build and develop your very own magic shop. Manage resources, set up production lines, mix potions and sell them smartly to stay ahead of the competition. Welcome to the potion business. This game is all about building up your shop, producing a bunch of potions, selling those potions and using the profits to expand your business. But besides the business side, there's going to be some experimentation, researching and managing to figure out what ingredients work and how to come up with new products to sell. Overall, you're going to build up your shop to be massive and seek your fame and fortune. Through the game, there's going to be some dynamic events, market trends and competing companies. So you're not just going to be able to do whatever you want. This is business. It is going to be competition. But it's all in this fantastical, magical, witchy world in a 2D hand-drawn aesthetic, which is really nice to look at, actually. Now, this game has been in early access since early 2023 with a couple hundred mostly positive reviews. So going through early access, this game is going well so far, and it is targeting a 2024 release window. So you can jump in now if you are intrigued or you can wait for the full release which should happen over the next six months to a year. Speaking of a hand-drawn aesthetic, this one looks different. It's called Might of Merchants. This one combines an economic and trading simulation game with some role-playing elements in a medieval kingdom. Experience a unique and lovingly hand-drawn world, which you will have to prove your skills as the best trader. So this game is all about becoming a successful merchant, and you have to pay attention to your environment. Because supply and demand will determine prices and your opportunity to do business. As you do that business, you'll be able to expand, constructing new buildings, making things more attractive, and protecting against uh, threats such as burglary, sickness, and fire, which all could take your medieval business empire to the ground. Besides all that, it's not just about you. You are not just building a business here, you're building a business dynasty. You get to rise in politics and demonstrate your diplomatic skills to influence decisions and laws, to try and take advantage. Ah, uh, true capitalism. Not just doing the best business, but making the game easier for yourself. Alright, so this game is made by a solo developer, but overall it does seem pretty impressive considering that. I mean, nothing else really looks like this. It's a top-down hand-drawn style and its monochromatic, sketchy look is gonna set itself apart from uh, not just anything else in this list, but most games in general. So I would keep an eye on this one. There's no particular release window. It's a solo dev, so it could go into early access. It could be a, a year or so from now. But Might of Merchants is intriguing, to say the least. And I'm going to personally keep my eye on this one. For a more modern business trend, Food Truck Empire. Become the ultimate food truck tycoon. Create your fleet, manage menus, optimize your mobile kitchens and conquer the streets. From cheap burgers to gourmet masterpieces. From shady alleys to posh neighborhoods. Find your customers, fill their bellies and build your food truck empire. As is the title of the game. So this is obviously about food trucks and not just one. This is a proper tycoon game so it is gonna be about your fleet, right? A whole bunch of food trucks under your control, which all of which you can customize everything. You know, the interiors, the colors, the designs, the, the uh, all of it. All of it is up to you to take advantage of your surrounding environments. You know, don't try and sell posh food in the cheaper neighborhoods. They won't be able to afford the food. Also, it's kind of just not what people are looking for. You know, consider supply and demand. And of course, as is the real-life food truck business, competition abound. 
You're gonna have to dominate the landscape in spite of all the competitors which do not want you on the scene. You could increase your quality or simply undercut their prices. That's up to you. That's your tycoon decisions. Now, this does look like a charming little low poly game. And I do know low poly, it's an art style that a lot of people are averse to. But overall, it does seem pretty pleasant to look at. And it's a food truck tycoon game. So the aesthetic does pretty much fit. Could be a nice little indie experience. So let me know what you think about Food Truck Empire. Going back to a medieval world, it's Innkeeper. Embody an innkeeper in a unique first-person management game set in a medieval fantasy world. You build your inn, adapt to your clientele, and establish a thriving economy all out of your inn. Now, the unique thing here is that it's first person, and first person management tycoon business games sort of vibe different. You'll be able to interact with your customers, merchants, and unique characters as they come and go, and your own character evolves over time as you develop your establishment. You gain experience, leveling up to improve your character across 13 different skill types, along with passive and active effects. You get to hire employees, you get to expand your inn, dig a basement, make your own furniture, set up tasks, fish in the nearby stream, play money games with your customers, as, you know, it's a medieval inn. You gotta have some money-based games. Deal with customers getting drunk, craft recipes, experience weather and day-night cycles. I mean, there's a lot to this game, which is probably why it's low-poly graphics, to accommodate all of those gameplay features. However, having said that, this is more of an indie development, and I've actually been watching this game for a while now, and it's still not released into early access, and it is going to release into early access, and after that point, they're planning for a year to games launch. So I would expect to see this playable over the next year, but you know, even if they stick to their schedule, it might take a bit longer than 2024 to fully release. And of course, as a, a more indie development like this, it could take even longer. You're never too sure about early access games, but this does seem like it's got some very good ideas to it. It's just how it's all implemented and whether it's refined up to your standards. So we will see how Innkeeper does over the coming year, and then maybe judge it then. For another potion-making game, it's the Magical Mixture Mill. Gather exotic ingredients, brew complex mixtures, and expand your magically automated production lines, keeping your shelves stocked, your customers happy, and your pockets full. And the interesting thing is your customers are actually like RPG characters going on adventures and they have their own classes. So there's like a necromancer, there's a barbarian, there's a paladin, and they will come into your shop expecting certain types of potions and certain qualities. Crafting is a big deal for this game as well because you don't just craft the potions using various ingredients to increase their potency, but also the bottles themselves are part of the marketing and branding. You can put cheap potions in fancy golden vials and sell them for more even though they're useless. <laughs> That's what the tycoon business games are all about. Now, I am very tempted to not just have this as a tycoon game, but also put this maybe in the simulation list because it's got a sort of light factory simulation setup as well. You do have to put up production chains, conveyor belts, manufacturing facilities, and there's also a life sim aspect of you going around the world talking to characters. You know, a survival aspect where you, you do pass out and you need to eat things to, to keep your energy up and stuff like that. So there's a lot to this game, and I've played the demo before, which for full transparency I was sponsored to show off, but I'm not sponsored to show the game off here. But overall the game in the demo was looking pretty decent. It's currently in early access with few but very positive reviews, 80 plus percent positive, and they were aiming to have a full release candidate of the game by 2023, but we're approaching the end of the year now and I'm gonna say it's most likely gonna be a 2024 release. Maybe I'm wrong, but uh, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna expect that. So this game is slowly shaping up and it could be cool. There is footage of it out there if you want to see a more proper look. 
But for now, the magical mixture mill seems to have a decent start and is slowly reaching towards its goals. Hey, now that you're a bit into the list, I'm sure you're enjoying it, so it'd be greatly appreciated if you can like the video. Alright, next game. One more game that's reaching towards its goals. Big Ambitions. This is a role-playing business sim. You go from nothing to the biggest entrepreneur in New York by opening a small business or businesses and slowly building up to huge corporations any way you like. This is supposed to be a huge business sandbox kind of game where you can open any kind of business you like from single shops to chains or fast food franchises to huge corporations making millions, developing websites or whatever else you want. And for these businesses, you get to customize them to a very deep level, not just in terms of the design of the logo to the branding, but also how you start the business. Do you take out a loan? Do you renovate the store? How do you get stock? Do you manage money? How much staff do you hire? Do you need infrastructure? All that stuff is in your control as you slowly grow your businesses up to empire status. And just as a side note, this is also a bit of a life sin. You are the tycoon person in this game, so you need to eat food. So you need to go to the supermarket or maybe order food. <laughs> you know, you, you, gotta, uh, you, you gotta live in New York City and eventually you want to own New York City. All building up to retirement, I guess. So this game does have big ambitions, as the title says, and it's been going through early access since early 2023, and so far it's been achieving those ambitions. It's got very positive reviews, thousands of them, 90 plus percent. This game is knocking it out of the park, and although they do say that it is 24 months from the start of early access to full release, which would be early 2025, it's playable now and will be very much playable through 2024. And considering that it's already a success, it should just be getting better from here on out. So big ambitions are reaching for those ambitions and achieving those ambitions so far. If you've played it, let me know what you think. And if you haven't played it, this seems like a safer bet to check out if you're looking for a new tycoon business game to play. And then we have Definitely Not Fried Chicken, a business management sim with a twist. You grow your drugs trade through legitimate fronts by managing both sides of the business. You acquire new... <clears throat> businesses, meet new clientele, develop more potent narcotics, and make a lot of money while you leave the city in ruin. This does have sort of a fried chicken, breaking bad kind of vibe to it. So essentially the tycoon you're playing here is Giancarlo Esposito. I mean, this is an interesting one. Essentially you're running two different businesses at the same time, and you've got to hide one basically with the other. So it does have a lot of uh, interesting dynamics to it. This is a low poly game, but it looks pretty unique. It's got some interesting character designs and it has been going through early access with mostly positive reviews on Steam. Now it's said that they wanted to fully release and leave early access within six months, but it's already past that. So it's not gonna be a 2023 release by my count, so I'm going to call this a 2024 game for now. And if they're anywhere vaguely within their release window, it should be a 2024 release. But, you know, as I mentioned, with early access games, it could just go on forever. But anyway, that's definitely not fried chicken. And then for a tycoon game that's had its ups and downs, Hotel Magnate. A game where you design and manage your own hotel, rundown motel, or elegant resort with a ridiculous amount of customization tools to wield being promised to you, a host of facilities to build, and a wide variety of guests to impress. You are meant to let your inner hotel manager shine. Now unfortunately, this game has somewhat mixed reviews, not too bad, still 60 plus percent of the few hundred reviews it's gotten on Steam so far in early access, but it's not off to a roaring start. It's been in early access since late 2021, so it's been a couple years now, 
and they were supposed to fully release by 2022, so they're already a year past their initial estimate. But updates are still coming, the, the game is still being developed and being updated, so it's not all bad. And the idea of the game is pretty good, it's, it's, it's promising everything to do with a hotel, restaurants, kitchen and laundry, bars, nightclubs, pools, gyms, spars, staff rooms, everything is supposed to be here to do with a hotel anyway. It's just, it seems like it's coming along rather slowly, if, if nothing else and a little rough when it, uh, it, it it didn't hit the ground running. So this is probably one to watch for now to see whether it develops better over the next year, and it could turn out to be something pretty decent. Otherwise, even as it stands right now, 60 plus percent is still 6 out of 10. It's fine at the moment, so you might want to have a look at it if uh, you're into hotel management. Otherwise, we can check back with Hotel Magnate later. Next up we've got one that looks kind of like an interesting twist on Sim Tower. It's called News Tower. Develop your newspaper and become New York's new media mogul. In this tycoon game, you build and manage your newspaper from printer to toilet. Create your editorial line and lead your journalists through unique 1930s stories and dig out the latest scoops. So it's kind of like Sim Tower plus Newsies, I guess. <laughs> and that's an interesting premise. You do run it like a tycoon game. You're trying to establish your newspaper, make a lot of money, get everything going, make yourself famous and an authority figure in New York City. And I suppose the tycoon you're playing here is a kind of 30s J. Jonah Jameson. <laughs> Now, this game is set to release into Early Access in the, at the beginning of 2024, with up to a year in development. So right now, the goal for this game is to release sometime by the end of 2024 or early 2025, while being playable through 2024. So we'll see if it can stick to that schedule. Overall, so far from what we've seen, it looks pretty good. It seems to have all the ideas there. It just needs to come together and deliver what's being promised because I think a lot of people will be into this game as long as it just is what it says it is. Uh, you know, that's, that's hard enough to do already, I think. So as long as it just sticks to what it's presenting, I think News Tower could be a pretty good tycoon business game moving forward, if they deliver on their promises. Weirdly, in a similar vein is Yakuza Empire. Ruthlessness, ambition, and determination. Just some of the things you'll need if you want to make it into unforgiving criminal underworld. This game is a strategy management tycoon game about Japan's most feared gang, and you have to see if you have what it takes to survive and thrive in the criminal business. Now, as you can see, this one also has a tower management kind of thing, and there's some turn-based combat. <laughs> like, there's, there's a lot to this game which makes it very difficult to to put in any kind of genre, but I think essentially it is still a business management game where you train and employ your people, you build your headquarters, and you run your business to try and turn a profit. It's just, you know, there's rivals trying to kill you, so there's turn-based combat and you have to fight them off and you have to make sure that everything is going, well, as properly as it can be in this kind of business. Also, this is all set in an early 90s aesthetic, so that's a nice nostalgia trip. Now, despite how interesting this looks, it has to be said that at the moment it's just coming soon. And there's no particular release window for this. And there's a chance, there's always a chance with these games that this is just a trailer set to see if it generates any interest and they don't actually make the game unless it generates the interest. I've seen a lot of games from these particular publishers where some of them do get made and turn out well, others are just trailers. So Yakuza Empire could be a very interesting game to see in 2024 if we see it at all. But I did want to let you know about it because of the tycoon games out there, this one seems to have a solid idea. Now going way, way cuter than Yakuza, it's Townseek. Embark on a journey across the world of Explorer and discover the lost legacy of Sir Reginald Sharkingston. 
discover exotic landmarks, trade with faraway towns, fish, mine and farm as you complete your journal and make a name for yourself. So this one is more of an adventure kind of, well, move around the picturesque, cartoony world. But you are uh, still a business person, trading with the towns and building your reputation and, and unlocking cosmetics for your ships and stuff like that. Meeting diverse cultures, from cat people to slimes to stonelings to just regular humans and more. The ultimate goal is to complete your journal, which is supposed to be filled with memories and unforgettable adventures as you travel through the world. And what a world it is. Nothing else on this list quite looks like this. So this is sort of a tycoon business game, sort of an adventure game, but uh, I think at the core of it, you are still running a kind of trading business. <laughs> so I'm going to put it here. It's an interesting game and you can see what it's like on the screen right now. It should be releasing sometime early 2024 based on what they're saying right now. And that's Townseek. With a similar aesthetic, we've got Dealer's Life Legend. Undertake the perilous quest of the wandering merchant and become a legend by haggling and dealing and trading. That's the dealer's life. So in this game you are a traveling merchant going from city to city while growing your wares and riches. So it's sounding a bit similar to the last game but in this one your goal is to reach the capital and winning the wandering merchant quest. Though you do have to be careful as you go through this world, because the peaceful and prosperous empire might not be quite what it seems. There are whispers of deception, tyranny, and rebellion. But the important thing for you is riches. So you are supposed to take advantage of whatever you come across and be the best merchant you can be through negotiation, psychology, and management skills, all to become a trading legend. Running it all out of your wagon. You can hire companions, use magic items, and as you go through the world, you uncover the true story of the Empire and choose who to side with. I really like the premise of this game. It is still a business tycoon game, but it's tied up into this political intrigue of this uh, mysterious empire. And although it is more of a cartoony aesthetic, it does have a seriousness to it, which I do appreciate how they're, they're striking that balance. The release window for Dealer's Life Legend is sometime in 2024 right now, so we'll see if we get to have a closer look at this game over the coming year and whether we'll be able to get our hands on playing it. For another Potion Tycoon game, it's Alchemist the Potion Monger. First person alchemist simulator with RPG elements, explore the world, gather ingredients and sell or use potions you craft to help others to fend off enemies. Adopt pets to help you with your alchemy knowledge and you can pet them. Decorate your home however you like and brew your destiny. Potion making games have definitely become more popular in recent years and well it's always good to have another one and this sort of feels like the previous potion game but in first person and you know that could be enough of a twist to make this game for you. In this game you'll be selling your brews, you can use the potions you brew yourself to power yourself up as you explore the world and discover alchemical ingredients and recipes. Now this game is going into early access towards the end of 2023 but at the time of recording there is also a free demo on Steam. So you can check out Alchemist the Potion Monger right now with the free demo and when it goes through early access we'll see how it develops and how it's received as it is planning to go for six to nine months in early access so the game should release fully in 2024. For another tavern game but not from a first person perspective it's Tavern Keeper. Build and manage your own tavern in this charming fantasy business sim. Dive into every detail or relax and decorate to your heart's desire. It's your tavern, you run it how you like. You can upgrade your tavern, navigate light-hearted fairy tales of unlikely heroes, and you play the most important role of all the Tavern Keeper. Now there's supposed to be a lot of details to running your tavern here. Your janitor can get sick, you know, the fireplace could spark and cause a fire. There can be infections and plagues going around. And your clientele have personality traits so things could get interesting. 
And also the level of detail you can customize your tavern to is pretty insane. You can place a single candle on a table or turn a chair to a specific direction or build a pillow fort. So you'll be able to be creative with your inn while you run it as a business, but also have it as an artistic expression to share with the community. Generally, Tavern Keeper is looking very interesting, very good so far. Based on the trailer and the screenshots, uh, the aesthetic is sort of low poly, but a uh, very nice color palette. So it, it's got this, it, it just looks kind of good actually. And the gameplay promises a lot of detail and creativity, which is always really nice. So this is another game where all it has to do is be what it says it will be. And then Tavern Keeper could be a very big success. That's all you gotta do. Have a good idea and execute the idea. <laughs> simple, isn't it? It's simple, but not always easy. But Tavern Keeper does seem like it's on the right track. We'll see how it goes through 2024. Next is probably the most hyped for Tycoon game moving forward at the moment anyway. It's Nivalis. You grow your business, manage restaurants and nightclubs, make friends and enemies, buy and decorate apartments, go fishing and maybe even find love in Nivalis, a city that stretches from the ocean to the clouds in this cyberpunk business simulator. Now, making it in a cyberpunk city isn't easy by any stretch of the imagination, let alone as a business person. And there's gonna be gangs who want your organs, corporations who will fine you for breathing the wrong time, and things are generally falling apart at the seams. You gotta start small in this game, a food stall, a noodle stand, a stim store, something like that to get your feet wet in the cyberpunk city of Nivalis. And as you do your business, you slowly grow and expand as you meet new characters, you can form friendships and partnerships. So eventually you will become like those corporations yourself, but at the start you gotta buy or grow your own ingredients and meet whoever you can on the streets. I mean, this game looks great. A cyberpunk tycoon business sim with some life sim elements. <laughs> it looks great. It's like a first person game. It's basically like, I mean, imagine Cyberpunk 2077, but as a business sim. I mean, it, it's, it's just kind of interesting. Now, we haven't seen all that much from it right now, but there's so much hype and so much promise for Nivalis that I really want to see this succeed. I really hope it does because it looks like it could be such a fun game to play, but it's coming in 2024 and we haven't been able to get our hands on it so far. So uh, when, it, when it arrives, I will definitely be having a closer look at Nivalis. Hopefully they reveal more of the gameplay, like maybe some more raw gameplay moving forward. But for now, we're gonna have to keep an eye on Nivalis. There you have it. Press the like button and use the GOG referral link below to support videos like this one. And thank you so much to all the patrons and YouTube members for supporting this channel and keeping lists like this being made. If you want to stay in the know for another genre, go to the next list video linked on the screen. As I'm sure Tycoon fans like yourself would not want to miss all the simulation and city building games on the other lists. Thanks for watching and I'll see you over there in that next video.